Okay, so I have heard this topic before talked about by several different people why preppers are going to die when SHTF. So, my take on that is uh, yes and no. <laughs> Have you ever heard someone say that? Well, yes and no. But I mean, the reason why I think people might say that is because they're only if they're only stacking. I'm sure you got a bunch of stuff. Um... But if you don't have the skills to use a bunch of stuff, if you're locked into one thing, like I'm staying home and that's it, and we're just gonna sit in there, even if you got 10 years worth of food and you're not doing nothing else, in 10 years you'll have no food. So I seem to think that it's gonna be whether or not you know how to use your stuff, whether or not you got training with some of your stuff, as people say, defensive tools. Whether you learn, you know, if you have a uh, homestead, do you have plenty of renewable sources? Now this whole nuclear thing and this whole crazy talk that's going on now with all this uh, conflict. Uh, you might need to know how to do some of that stuff too. And I've been trying to learn as much of that as I can as of lately, just because it's uh, okay, it's an additional threat. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to look, we're supposed to learn. And I just don't know much about it. I'm starting to learn quite a bit. There's a few things I might end up getting. I'll show them to you on the channel. But it's uh, the thought process of I have stuff, I'm going to be okay so many reasons why you probably won't be okay. Well, I can't bug out. Well, pretty much anybody can bug out. No, you don't understand. Well, then stay there. See where I'm getting with this? There's a, if there's too much thick-headedness and you're the lone wolf or you're the the group that never trains or the group that doesn't have any kind of a plan. We just have stuff. It's going to be a shitty mess probably. It's going to be a Bunch of stuff. Maybe you'll make it for a little while. Be like naked and afraid. You have six additional months. <laughs> Something like that. Or what was that? That was naked and afraid. That was the prepper one there. Doomsday preppers. There you go. You can live an extra six months. Yeah, it'd be something like that. Maybe you can. You never know. It just depends what ends up happening. So preparing is yes, specific for certain things. I'd rather call it preparing. I think I'm more of a. Uh, survivalist mindset or something. I like the bushcraft stuff just for fun. I like a lot of survival stuff for fun and it could come in handy. It could be useful. Uh, and the preparations or preparedness part of it that I do, I do because uh, you're not always going to be shooting something. You're not always going to... I like the fighting stuff, the shooting stuff, all that, but you're not going to be doing that all the time. And even if you were, if you only have 10,000 rounds and you're shooting crazy wars and you still somehow live through 500 rounds a day or something like that. That's only 20 days worth of ammo. So it's not <sighs> I mean, 20 days worth of ammo. Some people don't have 20 days worth of food to keep up with their ammo. That's what I'm getting at with that part. But So do I think preppers are going to die? I think some of everybody is and depending on the situation it could be a lot worse or it could be a lot easier than we all think. Just economic collapse. People are probably going to die because they don't have enough food. Uh, I'm probably most worried about um, losing the land I recently purchased or something like that with an economic collapse. Now, I don't know how they would collect taxes and do all that if nobody was working, but uh, I mean, even $7 a gallon for fuel. I mean, please, that's going to be, that is going to be hard. <laughs> that's a hard uh, nut to crack, to swallow, however the hell you want to say it. So all you can do is do the best you can, and no matter what you do, every single thing that you do is supposed to be putting you a little bit better off than not doing anything. And how many people are not doing anything? Ooh, probably 90-something percent of, the, of our country anyways, U.S. Too fat, too lazy. Can't happen here, one of those things, so. What do you think? Preppers die when S H a T and F happen. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. 
give me a thumbs up. I can't get more than like 30 views in a day or something because how does that, uh, how do they say, someone says, I can't remember his name right up, right off the bat. I watch him all the time. Screw tube. <laughs> Bagging us. Bagging us. Don't ever say anything about the truth and don't ever get ready. Don't worry. The government will take care of you. Have a nice day.